previously on RS Cooks. It's garbage. This is garbage. I'm not, no, no, no. Your steak sucks. Your steak sucks. Shut up. Just wait until it's our turn. Our turn. Our turn. Welcome back to RS Cooks, Top Chef Toronto, Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, you're watching the number one cooking show in Toronto, and uh, we have an amazing episode for you today. Uh, just, just, just show them the contestants, okay? My name's Sharon, from Toronto, and I'm just an amazing cook. Watched a lot of MasterChef on TV. That's why I learned to cook. Um, television is my source of education. I'm Koi, um, a contestant in the show. Truthfully, man, I had a rough week, like, I, I, I couldn't link the mandem without getting flamed. It's all I mean, my steak is shit. my mashed potatoes are dry, like, I had a rough week. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for today, and, like, to, to show my skills and to show my improvement. The game is simple. One meal, two warriors, three judges. On the menu today, well, actually, I don't know. We have a mystery box prepared for the contestants with ingredients they'll use, and they have no clue what's inside. Could be a rodent, could be an egg, or even your ex-girlfriend. Sharon and Koi will have an hour to cook and plate their meals for our three judges. Simple, right? All right, so we're back at the crib. We got Sharon, we got Koi. You already know who they are. You guys ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. Yo. Ground beef. Alfredo sauce. Google <laughs> pasta. And this, this one takes the cake, man. An egg <laughs> Why is there an eggplant, fam? What am I gonna do with the eggplant? A f***ing eggplant? I got ground beef, pinochi, detaglio, pasta, whatever this is, so some stuff of pasta. I have tomato paste. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. That is a green papaya. A papaya. <laughs> I've never ate or seen a papaya before. I have no idea what that is or how to cook it or use it or what to do. But the ground beef I can do, and the pasta I can do, but how to incorporate the two other ingredients, uh, I'm gonna try and figure that out. <laughs> add a pinch of salt. Gradually add pasta to the boiling water. If cook without a lid, stirring occasionally. Have you never cooked pasta before? Bam. I've cooked pasta before. That's a lie, bro. Look, who you got early, bro? I'm just lying. I have to put my money on Corey. Oh. Too many videos on Instagram, you I'm more afraid of what Sharon is possibly going to cook up, considering his ingredients are just terrible and you got just no bad pick of the bunch. That's a lot of salt, brother. <laughs> Yo, what's your point about the paste and the sauce? Bro? So clearly, the host has no idea the difference between paste and sauce. I know the paste is thicker and whatnot; it's more concentrated. It's gonna be bad. It's so. He got crazy. me some no bra no brand name, no, and the packaging no, is ripped. No, no. First of all, first of all, this is. Uh, <laughs> damn. See, why did you touch it? Now more is falling out. Okay, now you just wasted food at this point. Bro, bro, bro. I don't know what producer put this show together. Maybe get some brand name stuff, increase the budget a little bit. But the pasta just broke and just fell on the ground, so I don't know what happened. That wasn't my fault. Damn, what are you doing? <laughs> the crib doesn't have a can opener? It's just Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. That was sick. Simple things. Yeah. Melt the can. The aroma is ruining the whole kitchen at this point. 
I, I'm scared. I don't know what to do with the tomato paste, but I gotta figure something out. Yeah, man, man. It's fucking nothing but the worst food I ever tasted in my life. <laughs> this is worse than like eating at a white person's house. No offense to my white people. But like, some of them don't know how to cook, and this is what Sharon's gonna prove to me. It's entertaining though at the same point, but the food is gonna be so grim. Wait, you gonna watch tonight? No. I need the tomato paste to be uh, flavorful. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with this, I'm gonna get sound <clears throat> I think I'm gonna win because, you know, all the all the criticism I faced last week in last week's competition, I feel like I greatly improved, I got humbled, and I'm just gonna bring my A-game. Cucumber slices with a eggplant. Yo, he has a, it's, it makes sense. <laughs> Javon's the food expert out here, he said it makes sense, so it Baby, makes sense. look at him, my 600 Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! You <laughs> crackhead. <laughs> Why you on my dick, nigga? Word. Indeed. Like you know it's illegal, right? To ride a nigga dick with no license. Get off my dick, goddamn. Put it back to him. Pat it back to this nigga. F this nigga. Fuck everything he stands for. What the his hair? The pair? The socks? This nigga, bro. He's mad because he has more money in his pocket. Oh, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> bro, off the top of my head, when you're an expert like me, you can just know what the seasoning tastes like and know what to mix and match. I don't need to Google anything. Oh shit. Don't worry. So what you have to do, you have to save the pasta water and add it into your sauce after. Mm. And, it, and the starch from the pasta mixed with the water thickens up your ingredients. Mm. It thickens up your sauce. Yeah. Koi, you're a bum. Mm. Bet stinks. Take some gum. Mm. Here you go. You're so lame. Mm. You can't cook. For your girl, that's shame. Mm. Yo, hold on, let me let me tell you something. If you want smoke, I got all the beef. You took my pan, you're a teeth. But it's okay. I'm gonna beat you with my Alfredo pasta. Cause Sharon, you lost stuff. Mm. Oh. Yo, only God knows. This one, someone get you. Someone get you. Come here. Come here. Boy. So short. Mm. Your girl, that's why you left you. Mm. Cause you're a dork. Oh, okay. Can't hold her down. Mm. In the bedroom, all she does is frown. Hold up. You say all my girl does is frown. But I swear I seen your girlfriend last Saturday all around town. <sighs> Me personally? I wouldn't shot. let a nigga like that. Hold up. Like, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm not even done. Your ex texted me the other day, Koi, you wanna have some fun? Slow it down. <laughs> I dissed you. <laughs> Slow it down. I just dissed you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I said, Slow it down. I just dissed you. You should see my text messages. Don't tell <coughs> Sharon I kissed you. <laughs> Conceited? Yo, you, you, you oh, nuts, nuts. I wasn't listening. You know what? Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're deceiving. So, so why are you hating on me today, bro? Bro, why are you hating on me? Today? Basically, put apples and ground beef together. <laughs> like, I don't know why they're laughing at my food. You haven't even tasted it yet. You can't judge things based off appearances. We all know that beauty's on the inside. So, you should take that into consideration instead of just laughing at the, at just to play how it looks. Honestly, what's in this pot? I don't know. But I'm praying it turns out good. I put the tomato paste in there. Put some milk in there. Some water in there. I put some seasoning in there. Uh, yo, man, I see Sharon doing some wild things. I see Goy doing some wild things. I see Goy not washing his hands, first of all. That was crazy. What? <laughs> Just cannot make this. Up. <laughs> you cannot make this. Bam! I had tomato paste, fam. That's what I had to do. I don't Honestly, my ground beef is burnt. I know I overcooked it a little bit, but I'm trying to stay confident and uh, try and find a way to pull this one in. Yo, Lloyd, can you help me get a plate, fam? <laughs> <laughs>
Done. Alright, so we have our judges here today. Who do we have today? Tag. Jelani. Lloyd. Yo, Bota, can you smile, please, bro? Come on. I'm honestly not afraid, but I'm more mad that as a friend, he decided to think it was okay to serve me what he's about to serve. Please explain uh, your dish today. Uh, looks, uh, looks interesting. So my dish today, I have some pasta, right? And I created a mountain effect of the ground beef in the center with toma tomato puree sauce over the outer edge. It's supposed to look like a spaceship. So you get it like it's the outer rings and then the inner nucleus of the planet. And then the sauce is like the galaxy and the stars. Huh? Right? So dig in, I think you'll enjoy it. Grab a little noodle. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before you stop, stop, stop. I forgot to say something. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. <laughs> Wait. 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 It was filled with salt, bro. It tasted just like salt. It was actually the worst dish I've ever had in my life. I forgot to add. Stop. No, no, stop. stop. I've had food from some. Girls who can cook to save their freaking life, and that was worse than theirs, bro. I pray that his wife knows how to cook, cause you wouldn't want him feeding your children. I personally would never let him feed my children, cause that would be death. Is that a wolf? It's so salty. How can you really overcook the beef? You just cook it properly. We'll give it like a six out of ten. <laughs> Different. <laughs> you guys are done. Yeah. If you were to go to a homeless shelter, homeless people would not even take the food. They would rather die. I'm African. Okay. There's kids starving out there. I would never, in a hundred years, feed my children that type of food. All right, Koi. Can you explain to the judges what you have for them today? All right, so today I have a beef and Alfredo eggplant pasta. So I incorporated the eggplant into the pasta. I added little diced, um, slightly um, crisp <coughs> pieces of eggplant that are highly seasoned, flavorful. And I added a eggplant triple fried plantain eggplant chip on top. Quiz dish was uh, pretty good. Uh, could have done better on the seasoning a bit, but it was really nice. It looked like it was a five-star Michelin, uh, Michelin plated uh, meal, so I had high hopes for him. You know, even though you know, I'd say I'd finished it because of how small the amount was, but it was it was good enough to eat. To be honest, there was a lot of Alfredo sauce, which masks you know the flavors of the other things, so it was easier to slurp down. Hey, yo. You know, uh, after much deduction in my head, going through both the meals, you know, trying to find out the points, given deductions where it had to be given, I'm gonna have to give it a koi. Yeah, oh, man, there was, there was only one one real choice here. Yeah. I've been quizzed on it just off the fact that it tasted better. Even though he used a lot of sauce, like the thing was drenched in Alfredo sauce. But otherwise, it tasted better, less seasoning, presentation was better. So I, overall, it was just a, a better place. And Koi's, you know, was clearly even better. So no. Koi wins in my eyes. Koi this, Koi that, watch next week. I'm watching fam, I watched it. You got sauced. Yo, cheers fam. I'm sorry fam, you cannot cook brother. Cause when you bring a girl home, she's gonna run out that door brother. It's rigged, honestly, it's the only reason. He, he, I think he won just because he has better ingredients. If I had Alfredo sauce to put all over my beef and my pasta, I think I would have won too. But you know, the luck of the draw, I got tomato paste. 
None of these people can ever cook, bro. Realistically, not a single person on this whole channel can cook. Don't believe nothing that they say, bro. Out of everyone here, I'm probably the best chef, but everyone knows that's so they don't want me on the show. And that's the end of episode two. Yeah, uh, make sure to like the video and uh, comment, right? We want to get some feedback. Let us know what you want us to do next and let us know any things that you think we can improve on as well. And definitely, if you're watching right now, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we appreciate all the love you give us. Um, should we play the show for next week? Yeah, sure, go ahead. All right. All right. Next week on RS Cooks. <laughs> Nigerian dirty corn dish. What happened? What's the wisest thing you ever heard? That your mother know your friends or a woman will never compare to the love and care that your mother could give you. That's a fact. So marry your mom.